Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back to share another journal that I just finished creating. Um, this one, I am calling it Painted Flowers for obvious reasons, but also this is um, wallpaper, but it actually feels like it was painted on. Like you can feel like I don't know, like if you were to touch a canvas that somebody painted, that's what it feels like. And it's really, really neat. Now, the black part behind, that is um, like a, I don't know what wallpaper is usually made out of, um, but that's the material. Uh, but this is just, it's so cool. So let me just show you the front here. And um, as you can see, I have a little key attached there. And then here's the back. Um, unfortunately, see, there's a little... Um, crease there that's because that's um like when the wallpaper was folded where it was folded but it's on the I put it so it's on the back so you don't really you don't see it from the front so make sure I'm in frame and I believe so let's get right inside okay so in the front um am I in frame yes I am um I left the front part blank because I was going to put a pocket um but I stuffed this journal kind of a little extra so I didn't want to put the extra bulk on the cover so that's why also the letter from the bookmaker is in this pocket here so um on the front page here I have this little flip um that I like to do in all my journals uh and there's some various I try to stay kind of with like a flowery vintage theme, but it's kind of a little all over the place too. So you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> so in this back pocket, um, I have one of these vintage flower guides or I think they have flower guides there. And then in this pocket, we have two tags and they're blank on the back. So you can write on the back with that. And then in this pocket here, I made a little journaling card. Oh, there's a glare. And this is those, a lot of the stickers are, I don't know if you can see that. They're like the 3D pop-up stickers. Um, so there's a little element like this one, the butterflies popped up here, the flowers popped up. Um, so it, I, I feel like it gives it that little cool element. Then, oh, yes. Um, the book that I have, where is it? Right here. That's... It's the um, New York interiors, like rooms of the 21st century, or at the turn of the century, sorry, not the 21st century. Um, but what I did was I took a couple of the rooms that I kind of liked. The only problem is on the back side, the image is upside down. Um, so what I did with all the images that I wanted, I backed them with something else. So for this image here, and I just, I would love to sit in this parlor or I don't know what room it is, but in that chair, that would just, I would love it. Um, I backed it with some vintage, uh, uh, like a page from a book. So you'll see when we go through, they're all sewn on to some sort of something or other. Uh, and then here we have a vintage page from a book again. And then he here's one of my stickers from the from my favorite sticker book the one that I've been using a lot lately this one right here and I did use a lot of these stickers throughout too so here's like another one and I just I wanted to kind of dress up this journal a little more because I have a lot of cool things in it and um, I just wanted to give it a little I don't know extra <laughs> um, so here I have paper clipped on a few things. So this is actually a tag that I made in one of my um, Tag Tuesday videos. It has a little, I think that was an acorn um, on there. It's also backed onto wallpaper and then some layering here. And then on the back, you can definitely journal on it. And then we had just have a vintage playing card and just a little place to do some extra journaling. And I know I'm on camera, and for some reason when I'm on camera, I lose the ability to know how to clip things back in. <laughs> I become all thumbs, and it just, oh gosh, I think I got it. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. 
Um, so here's another, here's another one of the images here, and this is a kitchen, and I would absolutely love that kitchen. Um, but, and I backed it with, um, this music paper here. And then I have a little pocket, and this is again a little 3D sticker where the flowers are, um, popped up. And then in this pocket here, we have, this is from a, um, this is a Betty Crocker's step-by-step -step recipe process. It's for dilly pea soup. And here is the recipe on the back. And it's actually um, copyright 1975. So that is definitely vintage. And here it says bonjour. And it was posted. Unfortunately, I cannot really make out the date. I see an 18, so I don't know if that's 1918. Um, I'm not sure. Um, but I just thought it was really cool. So it's definitely vintage and maybe even antique, depending. Uh, here's just a, a little journaling card that I made when I was trying to play around with some stencils a few months ago. A little tag and then another little playing card. And here, this is not a vintage postcard. It's made to look vintage, but it's not. See how in the back it looks like it's all grunged up, but it's it's not a vintage postcard. And then there's another little playing card here and another sticker. And here's another one of these lovely, lovely rooms. And on the back is some music paper. Um, and this is one of those uh, pages that fold completely out to an eight and a half by 11 sheet where you can write on or you can hide things inside, um, whatever you want to do. So behind there, I have a vintage stock bin card, which is great for journaling or using as a bookmark or creating your own tucked spot too. Here's another little tag that you can journal on the back. This one is not vintage. And then journaling card and playing card. And then I just added a little lace here. And then this is a Tim Holtz. Um, it's not vintage. It's just Tim Holtz. Oh, and this, it was um, on the back side of a page I used. And of course, you know, didn't want to throw it out. So I ripped it out and then just added some crocheted lace down there. Here is some um, uh, ledger paper. And then another one of the rooms, which I absolutely love. And um, this I did something a little bit different with. Um, I have this little ripped out piece of paper or page from a book and I folded it and then I put it over this and I attached it down. So it gives it kind of like a little extra strength too because this is um, tracing paper. So it's, it's thinner, but you can also see through the back of it as well. Now this pocket here, I see a lot of people doing these top like tuck up pockets and I haven't done them. I mean, I don't think I have. Well, in my recent journals, I haven't. Um, I do sometimes, you know, like the corner tuck that's at the top, but not a whole page or not a whole pocket like this. So I, I did two of them in here. And I really like it. Um, this is another one of those pop-up stickers, the little red truck. And then inside here, we have another um, Betty Crocker step-by-step -step recipe card. And this is for Baltic Picnic Soup. Sorry for the glare. And again, 1975. So there are a lot of vintage items, um, pieces of ephemera in here. I believe this is um, possibly vintage. It's just a receipt, like it's a rent receipt, but I doesn't, it's not, it hasn't been used, so I don't know. And then a little uh, note paper from the Park Lane Hotel in New York. And again, I don't know if this is vintage or not. I know I did get it at an estate sale, um, but I'm not sure, you know, the date or whatever, you know, from the time period. Um, another room here. And on the back, we have another. Uh, this is actually children's, like, learning to play the piano paper. <laughs> and I did this middle again. Um, am I even in frame? Oh, I am. Okay, good. <laughs> I did it on one of my last journals where... I left the middle completely blank and then I did the four corners here. So that way this spread can be whatever you want, whether you want it to be a journal entry, whether you want it to be like a glue page, um, you know, whatever you feel like doing it, it's like an open or a blank canvas for you to do so. 
And I really like these. So going forward, you might see a lot more middle of the signature um, pages like that because I really like it. Oh, and there's the other side of the, the book. Oh, look at this. Imagine all these books in this library. They're all antique and vintage. And I would just love to walk into an estate sale and like just see this room. I would go crazy. I would just want to just bring the whole room home, I think. <laughs> um, so here's another one of those top pockets. And in this one here, we have a um, first day issue. And this is June 8th, 1959. Virginia City, um, Virginia City, Nevada. And there's actually, you know what? There's something inside of it, but it's closed. I don't, I'm trying to hold it up to light. I can definitely see something in there. It must be open. Maybe not. Oh gosh, I'm so curious now what's inside of it. I don't know. I'm going to have to look because I'm so curious. I want to leave that. I want to see if I can hold it up really far to the light, if I can see anything inside of it. Um, then we have a large journaling card here. And then this is just some extra journaling paper. Oh, and here's the other side of that um, page with the tracing paper. In another awesome awesome room I could do a lot of crafting on that table there and that's back to the ledger and um, here oh of course another little cutoff that I didn't want to throw away so I just added it with a little rip off of some of the book page and then we have a vintage bin bingo card I was about to say bindo no that's not the word and uh, another journaling card And here is another one of the little flip ups. Again, the little um, pop up butterfly. And in the back here, we have one of the vintage flower cards. And then here is a receipt. It's from um, June 22nd, 1933, Edmonton Direct Relief. Uh, and it looks like kind of like a grocery order. Please deliver to, and then it has the person's name. And um, it looks like, I don't know, Brown Estate, Bronson Estate, and basically what they ordered. So that's pretty neat. 1933. So that is definitely vintage. And then in here, um, I made a tag out of one of those, the pages um, from that book. And there's the woman, her shop and she has all her goods lined up and it is blank on the back so that way you can journal and another little tag there and then in the front we have another journaling card with another pop-up um sticker and then it's blank on the back so you can journal on the back of that here's the other half of one of the rooms beautiful little butterfly up there um, another little corner tuck with a, another flower pot. And then in this pocket, let's see the goodies we have here. This is um, an invoice, August 7th, 1974. And it's for Morris Novelty Company. And um, I'm, oh, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. So, yeah. Vintage. And I'm thinking, oh, novelty. So it's kind of like a little, I'm thinking a little Drawer. Well, toys and novelties, su school supplies, and general goods. So yeah, it's just like a general store. Really neat. So that's vintage. Then, um, oops, I mean another tag with one of the book pages. And here is um, vintage postcard, and it's from 1921. So actually, it's antique. It's an antique postcard. Yeah, because it's over 100 years old. Neat. That's really neat. And another little note from um, the Park Lane Hotel. And a little playing card. Here's the other part of the kitchen. And look at the, the um, plumbing. You can see it. It's all open. That is so neat. So neat. 
Um, and here is, um, this is a letter from 1947, but I actually know it's not a letter. It's um, an RSVP because I, I had um, gotten a whole, like a bunch of them, like the whole lot. Um, and it was for um, an event and everybody was RSVPing to Mr. Felix Sachs. So the RSVP um, is inside. And another little decoration I made down there and there. And oh my gosh, oh, look at this. Do you see that room? That is gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I just, oh my God, just imagine lying on that couch. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. So here is one of the um, tags that I made for Tag Tuesday a while back. Um, it's kind of like a layered tag. So there's all, there's three different layers in it. And then it's held together by a bulb pin. But you're more than welcome to take the tags off the bulb pin and use them separately if you want. You know, that's always an idea. It doesn't have to stay together. Um, and then we have a vintage recipe. And this is for veal scallops. It looks like it's Peg's recipe. And I love old handwritten recipes. Um, breaded veal scallops. This one's extra good and easy. New York Times. So she must have gotten that out of the New York Times. But yeah, I love recipes that are handwritten on paper or on the recipe cards, all of it. Um, and then we have two playing cards in there. And then on the top here, you just tuck it back in. And of course, you know, you can move it around anywhere that you want, but I left it there for you. And then here's the back. And of course, there's my little signature there. And the back is blank here and here. So... This is actually good if you want it as a mat for pictures, both the front and the back. Um, but but yeah, so if you are interested in this journal, um, it is available in my Etsy shop. I will leave a link to the journal in the description box below. And I hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough of this journal. I had tons of fun making it and just putting on all the different elements. It was really exciting. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.